Welcome to my video. In this video, I'd like to explain the wiring of this controller. This is the Subvoton 72150 controller, and it it comes with 150 amps max factory power. Okay, so we have to start with the terminals in the front. So you've got the positive for the positive battery then you've got the negative black here for the negative battery and you've got three wire three sorry terminals for uh, motor cables the every motor will have uh, these three cables colored like that you know so you just make have to make sure you're all matching them yeah then you've got the bunch of plugs here yeah this is the biggest plug which uh, which comes which sorry which uh, which is for the uh, hole sensors and for the um, temperature sensor in the motor if you've got one because some of the motors might not have the temperature sensor but if you're buying qs motor which been designed for this controller uh, then everything will work fine okay next wire we've got here it's a hole meter this wire is to be used with the diagnostic tool uh, which is uh, designed to check your controller and your motor and you have to wire this uh, little wire together with hull wires to the uh, diagnostic tool and then it will run the diagnostic through the controller to see if there's any fault with it you know if there is anything okay then next we've got uh, the uh, throttle plug uh, it comes with three wires just a standard and your every throttle will have a uh, three wires there you'll have a black red and the third one could be a different color so you have to make sure that these two are black and red are connected to right and then the third one will go to the middle yeah okay now we've got the next plug which is the uh, uh, e e sorry e-brake throttle this is the similar principle and exactly the same plug as the traditional throttle so red black and the third one which you're gonna use the throttle just connect it to the middle and it will all work fine um this is the uh, e ignition this wire is to be used to power up your controller so you have to wire it together with the red and then it will fire up the controller otherwise it will not work okay then we've got the the speed uh plug this one is to be used with a speed switch if you've got three speed switch then it will come with three wires excuse me so uh, you'd need a multimeter to check uh, uh, which the continuity between which two wires on the low setting on the first position and then you have to make sure wire to the low speed obviously the one of the wires will be black it will go in the middle and the third wire will go to the high speed yeah okay the next block we've got reverse and the brake uh, zero volts so uh, these two uh, you have to wire together with the neutral which is black to make them work you know in the case of reverse if you got any additional switch and you switch it on together with the sorry you will short it with the negative it will actually change the direction of the the motors you know the spin direction of the motor so the motor will spin in the other direction and then you can use the throttle to adjust the speed and it will go backwards you know that's a very good feature the brake zero volts this is the safety feature to be used uh, with e-brakes uh, so if you've got an e-brake uh, uh, lever it will have a sensor inside at this sensor you can actually wire together with the negative and uh, if you're going to press the brake the sensor will short it with the brake wire and it will just shut down the controller and it's a safety feature in the case if you're let's say you had a fault with your throttle and it is stuck in an open position or something it would be dangerous very dangerous yeah and this is the last wire this is the brake plus 12 volts you know so to make it work you to make it work you need some sort of dc converter together with your bike because it will only work with plus 12 volts you know but if you've got any lights or anything like that uh, you might need the 12 volt converter you know because usually people do when building some e-bikes yeah but whatever um so if you're gonna wire the plus 12 to this it will just block this the rear wheel uh, wheel so it will just block the motor so this is like an anti-theft system and it will just you know it'll be impossible to push the bike or something like that or ride it you know so it's a safety feature and very good so and the last one is the uh, usb plug so it can work with the standard cable provided with the controller uh, and uh, 
you can then adjust all the setting on but only through the windows app there's no mac version for the uh sub button so if you have a mac only then i don't know or because some of the features can only be done on the uh, desktop uh, you can't do everything on the uh, application uh, neither uh, iphone or the android you know and uh, but the bluetooth model works really good all the basic stuff can be done and check the, the temperatures and everything uh, it works perfect you know no no questions asked but there's some stuff you can't do within the app so you need to actually windows pc to make all the features on this controller work thanks for watching uh, if you got any other questions please leave me a comment below